Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. We're experiencing a more favorable environment for showers, but not seeing a whole lot of payoff. We're also seeing the heat continue across the valley, 93 to near 103 across the valley for Thursday. Partly cloudy skies, southeast winds, south to southeast winds 10 to 15, and the slightest chance for a shower because, well, upper level conditions are a little bit more supportive for shower development around here, but that's about all. Here you see Futurecast taking us through the next two days with south to southeast winds interrupted by a brief east wind in the afternoon that's the sea breeze that could give us an opportunity for a green blob to come across our part of the map in other words a shower afternoon shower possible and then we go on into Friday. We expect a frontal boundary to sag further south and that dash line. That's kind of the wind shift on ahead of the front. And I think that's all we're going to see down this far south is the wind shift, the prefrontal trough on ahead of the front, the main body of the cold front expected to stay north of us now. And for the most part, it'll end up giving us a northeast breeze. The coolest, driest air will stay well north of the valley, but we'll still have enough of that upper level support and the position of that wind shift should continue to give us the opportunity for an afternoon shower. Now that's a lot of fancy talk, isn't it, for just a slight chance for an afternoon shower and still just as hot. The upper level support I've been talking about is that deep upper level low or that deep low in the eastern U.S that uh, its counterclockwise reach and influence helps to provide lift over deep south Texas and lift contributes to rising air. Rising air contributes to showers. Sinking air with high pressure, that contributes to hot and dry and sunny. So we want the upper level influence of that low to continue to help us out. And it should do that through Saturday. After that, even its influence will go away and the chance for showers likewise will go away. Tropical snapshot, Ophelia and Philippe out there, neither expected to threaten the valley. Philippe, though, may head on toward the Bahamas in a few days. Upper valley, lower valley, seven-day forecast, pretty much the same. Hot, we shave a few degrees off for Sunday through the early part of next week with northeast breezes, again with that wind shift on ahead of the cold front and the chance for showers wraps up when the influence of that upper level low wraps up. So let's hope for the best and expect the worst and let's just pray we get some rain. That's a look at your 24-7